Welcome back, aspiring entrepreneurs and go-getters. I'm having a flu and my nose is completely blocked, so I may sound extremely weird, so pardon me. Anyways, all kinds of business have something in common. You have to know who you are selling to. In the digital age, understanding your customer is your golden ticket. It's about anticipating their needs, sculpting your product or service to fit their desires and outshining your competition. So, if you are ready to turn your business idea into a reality, keep watching. In this video, we will dive in deep into ChatGPT where I will guide you step by step on harnessing its capability to create something called a target audience persona in the easiest and most effective way possible. So my mission on this platform is simple, is to educate you for free. I draw inspirations from thought leaders like Andrew Tate and Iman Genji, known for their no-nonsense, high-impact teaching. So I'm here to deliver free and full courses packed with concise, effective lessons that cut through the noise. There is zero purchase for any courses, and my sole purpose is to grow our community, spread wisdom, and grow my social presence. And for this journey, I will need your help to subscribe, like, comment or even share. So if you find value in what I'm creating here, show some love, spread the word, and let's soar to new heights together. When you are just starting out with digital marketing and building your first strategy, you are not going to have any data whatsoever on who your actual customers are going to be. You don't know what they like, you don't know what they dislike, and what their pain points are, what their age are, or whether are most of it men or women. And because we don't have such data, we're going to create something called a target audience persona. A target audience is the person who is most likely to buy your product or service. Target audience persona is a made up person who has all things in common with your real audience. Most likely to buy your product or service like their age, their interests, their problems, their passions, etc. Having a target audience persona is so important because if you have no data whatsoever, it helps you understand what your audience is looking for, what their problems are, and what their needs are. By understanding this, you know how to talk with them in order to connect with them. And connecting with your audience is your first step to making yourself. So let's go ahead and create our target audience persona. And if you have not watched my previous video on conducting a 10 minutes detailed market research using ChatGPT in creating a list of product features, benefits, customer pain points, competitive advantage, and much more, I strongly recommend you to watch it. And I will leave the video link in the description below. In this video, we are going to be using two prompts. The first prompt, is to be to generate your target audience persona. And what we are going to do is to copy the prompt and move back to ChatGPT and in the same conversation as the past conversation where we list down all the product details and we keep all of the same subject within the same conversation. I'm just going to go in here and I'm going to paste the prompt in. Now, the text is going to say, act as an expert digital marketer, please provide a comprehensive target audience persona for a digital marketer selling. And in my case, that's blue light blocking glasses. And then it's going to say include the following information. And this is where we get really deep. It's going to include demographics, geographic location, psychographics, professional background, pain points, challenges, goals, and aspirations to shopping habits and preferences, media consumption, influences and decision markers, brand perception, and assume no prior audience data is available, which it isn't to us at this current moment because we are starting from scratch and based the persona on general market trends and consumer behavior for this type of product. At the end, give me a suggestion for different niche to target to best sell this product. Now, in other words, we are creating a frictional character. It's much, much better than instead of me sitting here, spending days Googling, going through reviews, trying to build a picture of who's most likely to buy this product. 
I'm going to allow ChatGPT, who has millions to trillions of data points from basically everything in the world. It is much smarter than me making assumption and till the end of the strategy when we use Google Analytics, I'm going to show you how we can get real data and then start updating our target audience persona with some real data. So now I'm going to hit enter. So leave a comment down below and like this video. 50 likes and 50 comments for me to release the prompt in my Instagram, TikTok page or update this video description. Thank you. So once ChatGPT has generated all the information, just pause this video, read it through properly. <laughs> So now, create an image in your mind of who this person is. Now, remember, this is all frictional and ChatGPT has the ability to give you this information. So what I want you to do is scroll all the way to the bottom to see where it says suggestions for niche to target. This is where it gets interesting. I have four different suggestions, remote workers and freelancers who spend long hours on digital devices, gamers, professionals, in tech-heavy industries, and health-conscious individuals who value self-care. It's going to be completely up to you which niche you decide to go into. But you need, you need to make sure that you go into a niche because I promise you, if you take your product, whatever it is, or it's one of the demo products, there is going to be another store out there who is already selling it. And because they are so much bigger than you, they are going to sell so much cheaper than you. You can complete by making your product niche by selling it towards a very, very specific set of people. For example, blue light blocking glasses for gamers. If you are a gamer, you are going to be much more interested in buying blue light blocking glasses from a website focused on gamers than just from any glasses store who are just selling glasses because it is more targeted towards them. So scroll all the way down and pick one of the niches. So pause this video if you need time to think about it on which niche you want to pick. So now for the second prompt, state our target audience persona with the niche that we have chosen. So I'm going to paste it in and then I'm going to go here where it says gamers who are exposed the screens for extended of time and I'm going to copy all of this then I'm going to paste in the target audience persona without the target niche I'm going to scroll up and I'm going to grab all the information all the way up towards this persona I'm going to copy then I'm going to hold shift enter enter paste it just like this and then I'm going to hit enter so once you have generated all the information it is a very different persona. So the first persona I got up here is called Tech Savvy Taylor. The one without a niche had an age of 25 to 40 year old and an income of 50 to 100,000 per year. Now, the new target audience persona has an age that is 18 to 35 and an income of 30,000 to 80,000 per year. So as you can see here, the entire persona has been changed based on the niche that we are using. So what I want you to do is once again, pause this video and read through all the text because this is who we are going to communicate with for the rest of the strategy for building our website, writing articles, product pages, and doing all of our selling, whether it's by email campaigns or emailing directly with the customers. So this is our target audience persona, the person most likely to buy our product or service. So once you read it through, what I want you to do is to copy about half, which I am going to assume just roughly right here. I'm going to paste it in a notepad. Make sure that you save the notepad because you'll be referring to it a lot. And this is all for today's video. Thank you all for staying to the end. Make sure you subscribe, Hit the like button if you have learned anything from it and comment any questions you have. Have a nice day ahead. Till next time.